Today on UI7 Newsbreak. A spring car driver remembered after a tragedy. A gubernatorial candidate gets support from an unlikely group. Champagne adopts a new system of parking meters. Your UI7 Newsbreak starts right now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio at the University of Illinois campus, this is your UI7 News Break, your U of I news source. Good afternoon, I'm Ashley Cooley. And I'm Shenyan Ouyang. Welcome to UI7 News Break. 47-year-old sprint car driver Scott Simmelman died in a collision with another car in Wisconsin. His brother takes the time to honor his memory. UI7's Angela Hadley has more. This is our little race shop. Brian Simmelman spent his last night with his brother in this Brookfield garage. Hard at work until 2 in the morning. This is where this is where we prepped the car and built the car. Scott Summelman was the car's driver and owner. His older brother was the crew chief. And we had this weird bond where he didn't have to tell me what he was thinking I knew and, and vice versa. Saturday's race at the Beaver Dam Raceway was going to be their first of the year. And he was chomping at the bit because the season was going to end and he, he needed his fix. But this race turned tragic before it even began. Scott was out testing the track conditions Saturday when he lost control of his car. He either... Um, caught the edge of another vehicle, struck the edge of another vehicle, or he, his vehicle drove up on the edge of the tire, which then caused a violent flip. Scott's car crashed into a concrete wall and skidded along its surface before landing on its side. Police say he died instantly. I got to see it. As bad as it sounds, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to hear the second hand. Brian says racing was his brother's passion, but hardly his top priority. I mean, he was a heck of a family man, and, and he was, he has three beautiful children. A, great wife. a memorial fund has been set up for Scott's family on GiveForward.com. His brother says Scott was a charitable man. He used his car to fundraise for the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. He had no flaws. His only flaw is he didn't quit. I'm Angela Headley, US 7 Newsbreak. Last week, a group of black ministers in and around Chicago threw their support behind a white Republican candidate. The move has drawn a mixed reaction as to whether it will help or hurt the African-American community. US 7 News Break's Luke Ray has the story. We got preachers selling us out. It was just a handful of protesters screaming their objection to black ministers for Bruce Rauner, but the distraction was enough to send the Republican candidate for governor to the back door of MacArthur's restaurant. Yep, there we go, Mr. Rauner. <laughs> Inside, High-profile ministers from across the city and suburbs defended their endorsements. He and his wife have been giving back to our community for years. He has demonstrated that in building schools. He's done it in building a YMCA. I'm here because I want to go to work for you. I want to go to work for every one of you in this room. The pastors say they recognize that backing a Republican with mostly Democratic congregations is not a popular move, but a strategic one, they argue. If this guy pulls this off with some African American support, there's going to be a different relationship between African Americans and the Democratic Party. Well, they're going to have to compete and produce. But it's a strategy that could backfire for the ministers, according to political expert Mays Jackson. If all of these very high-ranking pastors that have been held in very high esteem, if they're not successful, then they'll really prove the lack of influence that they have with their constituents. I'm Luke Ray, US 7 News Break. Change is a thing of the past, for parking meters in Champaign, that is. The Champaign City oh, Council passed a resolution account. approving pay-by-sale phone parking services. Customers will be able to load money into a prepaid wallet instead of paying with a credit card each time. For every $20 added, the city will deposit $1 into the user's wallet. Another advantage is you will receive a text message alert 15 minutes before the time is up. You can even extend the time limit right from your phone. 
one really great advantage is that for businesses, there's a validation feature so that business, businesses can actually pay for parking for their customers, which they can't do at parking meters. Thanks for watching. I'm Ashley Cooley. And I'm Shenyan Ouya. And this has been your UI7 News Break. Have a good day.